Hey guys, welcome back. It is Jaden at Riverside Mazda here with the all new 2023 CX-50 Premium Plus. Gonna get into what is new for Mazda's all new off-road adventure vehicle. Gonna go over the styling, the performance, and the technology. So let's get started. So we're gonna go ahead and start off in the front like we do with the styling. Okay, with the top down, we're gonna see what is new okay so this cx50 is actually of course a fair bit wider uh, a little bit longer compared to that cx5 that we see back here in the background um but it definitely does have much of more a uh, muscular stance okay if we're looking at the windshield here you do have a little bit more of a slanted windshield compared to the cx5 but you do have a, a broader windshield so you do get an increased visibility range okay if we're looking at the hood we are going to get our famous Mazda hood line. This one actually does come in a little bit more, uh, more towards the nose uh, than some other models. And then of course our shoulder line that comes in there, but down the middle, we've got our two new hood lines. Uh, very nice. On the Meridian package, this will have a graphic on there. It says CX-50. I'll put a picture up so you guys can see what that looks like. But when it's plain, it still looks super good. Moving a little bit further down, gonna check out some of the new styling here. Of course, these new headlights, we have our LED daytime running lights here we can see it, that it goes around your main led bulb here it looks really crisp on this car i like how they're very thin they look kind of a uh, squinty a little bit angry uh looks very good with this car gives it a nice aggressive look okay going into the grill here we can see here it actually has a textured kind of style and viewing it from the front we see this actually has quite of a, a bulgy uh what do you call that grill surround compared to some cx5 630s and things like that definitely the overall look is to be more aggressive compared to the two and with the grill here the main grill uh typically you would see a mesh pattern but this one's a lot more open definitely going to allow a lot more air to flow right there um because of course off-road vehicle you want this thing to breathe in the middle we do have our mazda emblem but our radars are actually housed in there which is why it's so small we can see i can actually put my fingers in there in the mazda logo and there is a pass through the radars are actually a little bit farther south right there underneath your main license plate housing things like radar cruise control smart city braking and things to that nature keeping the theme going looking at some lower styling on this cx50 here we can see this does have the parking sensors because this is the top trim you got the one two three four right there and then our turn signals you would think they'd be up in the headlights but they're integrated actually right above uh the black plastic of the bumper but right beneath the paint it's sitting there uh, you can see that's kind of got the little amber effect depending on what angle that you're looking at it and then of course on either side we actually are going to get some real functional vents so we'll go and we can put the camera right through there you can see and if we go around to the front side we're going to see where that actually comes through you can see the light going through the front for some of that cooling and aerodynamics so we've looked at the front so let's kind of go towards the side here gonna check out some of the side styling gonna start off with the wheels right here so with this all new CX-50, we're gonna notice we get these nice, handsome 20 inch wheels. They are very uh, nice. We got the black with the machine finish here. You kind of got that almost like a an emerald kind of diamond kind of cut shape right there. Looks pretty nice. And we've got a whole new tire that Maz has not used before. This is the Goodyear Eagle Touring. And this is actually a fairly big tire for this car. We're looking at the width, we're rocking 245 which is Mazda CX-5, I think they're rocking typically like 225, so it's a fair bit bigger. 245 on the width, 45 series sidewall, and then of course, a 20 inch wheel, okay? And then of course, right there in the middle, we've got our Mazda emblem looking real nice and neat. Looking at some more side styling here, I'm gonna actually take it to a view so we can see just how much wider this is compared to a CX-5. So traditionally CX-5 would kind of stop right here, but we're actually getting approximately about two two three inches extra of width right here we can see how this bulges out and then with this main piece in the plastic we get some extra bulge some nice contour and then this goes in right here and it looks really really sharp same deal on the back we can see this is just very very wide we can see that the line comes up right here and it just comes out and in same thing you got your adjacent uh fender arch right here in the plastic as well looks really cool and if we go ahead and take a step back look at the overall side profile we're going to see just how different this looks compared to most of our Mazda models 
this is gonna be what Maz is ushering in, a new style of design, and I'm all here for it. As we can see with the paints, Mazda loves for everything to be reflective. We can kind of see some other models on the paint here. It looks a little bit more reflective on the lighter colors, but that's the whole design with these cars. As we see, bottom, of course, gonna have that black plastic, but it's not integrated too bad. I kind of like the way they've done it here uh, compared to the CX-30. If we're looking at things like the mirror, this is gonna have this gloss black mirror with our turn signal right in there. And then on the surround, we're gonna see, typically this is a chrome, but they've decided to use like a nice black piece, but you do have your nice little chrome piece right here in the back. I do think that looks a little weird, a little out of place, but nothing too crazy. Okay, you got your B and your C pillars there, also gonna be in gloss black as well. And then of course, in the back, once again, look at it from the rear, we're gonna see just how big that curve is to fit these wider tires and wider stands to give it that more off-road presence. All right, since we're in the back here, we're gonna go ahead and graduate to rear styling. Top down, we're gonna see roof rails on this. We're gonna see actually these in most of the models as they are standard because obviously off-road capability is the whole idea here. Uh, being capable of having, of course, roof racks or uh, a little cargo space up there. You can have your bikes up there, of course. Uh, you know, your tent because this is supposed to be able to hold a three person tent and its occupants on the roof because we have enhanced structural rigidity in the roof and then on the pillars as well. We'll go into that a little bit when we get on the inside, but just checking out some more rear styling. The presence of this back is just really nice. I like the way the modern LED lights look. So if we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the brake lights here, we can see your main lights that go around look really cool. And then our turn signal right there on the outside and a reverse light in the middle. Got all these LEDs, which are looking really crisp. Mazda logo is a fair bit smaller compared to the CX-5. And of course we see CX-50 right here, standard all wheel drive. And then we have our Skyactiv G turbo model with us today. Same style with the vents here. We can see how that kind of flows right into that main line right there and then flows into the bottom one as well. This one on the back though, it's not real. It is just plastic. There's no functionality to it, but the look is pretty cool. Um, serves its purpose and just demonstrating how wide this vehicle is. And then some more bottom things, of course, we got our reflectors there. And then hidden, really good, are our parking sensors, one, two, three, four. So we can sense that. And of course, backup camera is stuck right there in the middle. And we have a nice machine piece right here in the back that goes right over these two and a half inch exhaust outlets, which looks pretty cool in my opinion. And then since we're in the back, I'm gonna go ahead and check out how much space is actually here in our trunk compared to the CX-5. We're gonna go ahead and press that button here. You got a power lift gate, of course, and this is actually gonna open a fair bit quicker compared to our CX-5. Um, we're gonna see right off the bat, this is gonna be substantially bigger than our CX-5. Definitely much deeper in space. The entrance itself is a little bit narrower, but yeah, like I said, definitely more space here. We're gonna see it's got a flat load floor, so you can slide your gear in there. Uh, coolers and whatnot, they lengthen that so it can fit actually the exact length of a cooler. Uh, a little, a, a pretty large one at that. And if we go ahead and lift this up, we're gonna go ahead and see right in there, we have our spare tire with our Mazda Bose subwoofer right there underneath the floor, which sounds really good. We'll take a listen to that a little bit later. And if we want, we can see with these seats, we do have releases on either side. So we'll see how flush that actually goes. And you actually have a good amount of space. I'll go ahead and get the right one down here, just so we can see. Definitely got a lot of space in here for all your activities. If you don't have those passengers in the back, definitely tons and tons of space. With that, and when you're done, let's say you're done loading up your gear, of course you have your lift gate button right here, but you also have the button to lock the car. So when you go ahead and close it, it'll go ahead and lock the doors when you're finished. And here we are underneath the hood of the 2023 CX-50. We'll go ahead and release that. So we're gonna go ahead and see what it looks like. And you're gonna notice right off the bat, right here, that's normally where your hood strut would be. But in this, of course, we have no hood strut, because, or sorry, uh, hood pin. We have struts in this new CX-50, which adds a load of convenience to this car, All right? Of course, we're looking at the power plan. The 2023 is gonna be powered by our Skyactiv-G 2.5 liter turbo four-cylinder here up a little bit on power compared to the previous model years. They used to make 250, but if you option for 91, you can actually get up to 256 horsepower and 320 pound-feet of torque. So I know you're wondering about a few things. 
how is this thing capable? Okay, so looking at efficiency, we're gonna be averaging about 25 miles per gallon. You're gonna get about 29 on the highway, 24 in this, or sorry, 23 in the city. Um, and if we're looking at things like tow capacity and this turbo model, we can tow up to 3,500 pounds, which is up a bunch from the standard CX-5. They've uh, adjusted the torque output uh, and the couplers to allow more tow capacity, which is really nice. Uh, definitely gonna allow you to do some more off-road things with your vehicle if you're towing, let's say, of course, uh, maybe it's some jet skis or it's your little camper, whatever the case may be, your bikes, your, your anything in the back, this CX-50 is going to be able to handle it. And as we were talking about earlier with the rigidity of the roof, we're gonna go over exactly how does that translate to usability. This actually has a lower roof line so you can easier get on and to the roof to put your things up there. Of course, we're gonna go ahead and open up this back door here. And then we're gonna see right here, this is actually strengthened a little bit. So we're able to get up on that roof here very easily and access the gear. This one, of course, having the panel roof, we'll go ahead and look at that on the inside, but just makes it very, very easy to get up there and access those goods. So we've looked at a lot of exterior. So now it's the fun part. We get to look at the interior, see what Mazda has changed. Of course, these used, actually used to have the button here, but since this is on that new platform, we are actually gonna get keyless entry with just a touch here, power folding mirrors, and that's gonna open up right there. And we can check out the inside and the styling. All right, guys, so here we are inside of the 2023 CX-50. Gonna go over some of the styling, uh, also the new features. So let's get into it, starting off with the steering wheel. Of course, this is gonna be a leather wrap. And this is honestly, I think, a, a fair bit thigger than the standard Mazda CX-5 wheel. Uh, definitely, you feel like it's got a little bit more padding in there. And it is pretty comfortable to hold. Um, so if we're going to go over the design here, we've got the chrome that goes all the way around and underneath. And then, of course, the chrome surround that goes in the middle right there. This has actually got the updated Mazda selection with these buttons. So on the CX-5, it's the older one. So on this one, it's got the rockers that go up and down for things like the volume and skip track. And then of course, on this side, we are gonna have things like, of course, cruise control, but in this, we're actually gonna have traffic jam assist. And that's gonna be when you're in speeds of 40 miles an hour and under, it's gonna go ahead and allow you to, of course, speed up and down, but it's gonna keep you in your lane as well. So it's a nice, helpful feature. If we're looking at our gauge here, we're gonna see, this is gonna be pretty familiar to what you'll see in something like the CX-30, of course. We are gonna see our car in the middle, but we can cycle through a few different displays. If we go in, press the button, we can see the digital gauge right there with our speed, show things like fuel economy, and of course, that normal display as well. But of course, we do got different drive modes with the sport and the off-road mode, which is new for these 2022s, or sorry, 2023, with the Mazda Intelligent drive system okay this also does have a tow mode when the hitch is uh, connected and once again this is going to be able to tow up to 3500 pounds and then moving on from the gauge to kind of the left door here we're going to check out some of this styling with this we're going to see our black soft touch leather here nice and soft same thing with the upper here nice touch we'll see this has got a dark kind of dark gray style strip that goes along and it's pretty minimalist but that's Mazda's whole design less is more simplicity is beauty we've got a nice cross stitch going along the length of the door here and that's going to be in that same terracotta color once again more soft pieces our soft pieces a lot of these are going to be inspired by real life things so if we look at uh, this texture right here and then along the grips of this actually has a finger shaped grip on this CX-50 here that is gonna be reminiscent of the telephoto grip on a camera, right? Because of course this is adventure-based vehicle for people who are gonna be going out in the wilderness and doing some exploring. Okay, if we're looking at our mirror controls, this is gonna have the newer controls here. So you can choose left and right. And of course this does have the power folding mirror. So if we fold that in, we can get into those tight spots. All right, and then moving on from the door to some other features, we're gonna check out the style and we can see that stained cross stitch uh, continue through here. And we've actually got these new vertical style grills and I like that. The way this moves is actually pretty satis satisfying. It is a pretty uh, sturdily built piece right here. It is uh, something I think I'll be playing a lot with. Okay, we'll see it's got a nice chrome surround, but nothing too intense. It's not bright or blinding. We can go through and look at these new display buttons here. 
uh, as far as active safety, you got things like 360 view camera, which actually is updated for this year. So I'll go ahead and put it up here. If we go ahead and change the display, we can see we have our camera up here, which is actually a fair bit sharper than last year. So we've got our top down 360 to the right. We press it one more time. That's gonna open up our ultra wide. And then one more time, gonna have that side view. So see how close we are to those curbs, right? Also over here, we're gonna see parking sensors, traction control, eye stop. We've got our button for our trunk release because this does have the auto lift gate and then one, two for the driver seating. So we've looked at the left. Let's go ahead and move more towards the right. While we're right here, we're gonna see, of course, in this trim heads up display, you're gonna show things like our speed, active safety, and anything else that is urgent, okay? Of course, once again, vertical style grill here. And with this new platform, this has kind of got a stacked uh, design with a dash here. I like how the screen is integrated. It is pretty big, coming in at about 10 and a half inches. It is pushed away but still far enough in reach. So if I wanna get some stuff, it's not too bad, right? And for the first time with this new Mazda UI, when you are enabling CarPlay and Android Auto, which is wireless by the way, you are able to use the touch screen and use this screen, which I know people have been asking for, but now you finally got it. You can go through things like your car. So if we hit that, we can see, we can cycle through a few different displays there, which is really good. All right, moving a little bit further down, looking at some more dash designs. We see that dark gray aluminum piece that goes along the length here. Got a nice vent right there that's integrated into that center design. Of course, keeping that theme alive, this nice black leather with that terracotta cross stitch. And in here, nice and compact, we have our climbing controls. We've got that satisfying click that we're used to. And these AC controls, of course, got things like your fan speed right up in the middle. In this trim, we are gonna get that heated steering wheel, heated three level and cool three level seats right there, all positioned very nicely. And then moving a little bit south, we see of course the main shifter with our park reversion to drive, but we already talked about a little bit earlier, that MI drive with that off-road and that new sport mode that we're seeing that changes the gauge right there. Okay, we have a bigger uh, center knob here, that's something that you're gonna see in the Mazda 3s and the 630s, because once again, this is built on that platform. Um, so that's gonna have all that newer technology. And of course, the nice little volume knob, which is very satisfying, and it's got a good click to it. Moving on from that center display, gonna see these nice seats in here. We've got kind of an updated seating position and a nice seat. We've got uh, this broken up into two pieces for the upper and the lower back which looks pretty good. I like the way the headrests are kind of conformed to the shape of the head. But going over, once again, Maz is using a lot of inspiration from that outdoorsy vibe. We can see a nice strip that goes down here in the middle with that black leather. And then of course, the terracotta cross stitch. But this right here is actually gonna be inspired by the lace of the hiking boots because once again, outdoors ruggedness is what the whole theme is. You're gonna see throughout the cabin of this 2023 cx50 okay up here we have a little grip that's nice and textured to hold your phone that isn't the wireless charger though it's actually integrated right here in between the armrest here so you can see that it sits right there at an angle so if i set my phone down there it will not move around and it's locked in okay we can see we actually have a double kind of entry compared to the older ones you lift it up because once again, this is a wider vehicle. So we've got more wide storage space, got two little USBs down in there. And then we have our SD card slot for if you wanna use the Mazda navigation. So we've checked out the seats. Let's check out some more styling up north with the rear view mirror here. We're gonna see a frameless auto with the auto dimming, which we'll see up here and in the side mirrors as well. Home link is integrated right underneath very nicely with this car, as we can see in other Mazda models. Of course, got our controls up here for our lights and a little drop down for your sunglass holders because everybody's gonna be looking so cool. All right, so here we are in the back seat of the 2023 CX-50. We're gonna check out back seat amenities and features. So starting off with the door, same style design as we're gonna see up there. Nice soft touch materials all around and that same gripped um, door handle and of course the aluminum handle that you wanna open the door with. Um, it's gonna look really good. They did not continue the stitching that we see up there, which is an interesting decision, but I can see that of course it's about durability. So back here, it's probably gonna be a little bit easier to clean off when it's this material versus that one up there. 
looking at the space before we get on to that, definitely compared to the CX-5, I'm a tall guy coming in about 6'1", gonna have a lot more space in this car compared to the CX-5, uh, definitely gonna be the answer for a lot of people's problems. Looking for a car that's just got a bit more space than CX-5, but you don't wanna go all the way up to CX-9. This is gonna be the one for you. In the middle here, of course, we got our vents and our heated outboard seats right there with our three levels. And of course, two little USBs to charge your phone. One thing that is carried over from the front to the rear is the seating design. So we've got this nice same central stitch right there with that terracotta, terracotta, sorry, built in. And we got our drop down with the armrest and some cold holders, fairly big here. You can fit a good amount of stuff door pockets you actually get some pretty large door pockets in here you can probably fit a pretty pretty big size uh fiji bottle because we don't do anything besides fiji all right and back here we're gonna check out the star of the show the all new panoramic moonroof which looks absolutely fantastic okay this is gonna be for all your sightseeing glories here of course we have the palm trees right here but when you're in the nature you're gonna see all those trees and uh what's going on in the background i think this is a nice cool addition that mazda has been long awaited so guys we sat in the back we saw the features we saw the space we saw the comfort now it's time to test out the drive the usability on road and off road so let's see what it's like all right guys here we are hands on driving the 2023 cx50 i did swap one got one with the terracotta napa leather interior kind of wanted to show you guys a different view from the inside just so we could feel that but this is the same trim that turbo premium plus gonna go over the driving dynamics how does this compare on road to the cx5 and off-road as mazda's new off-road capable suv so we have stevie piloting the cx50 gonna show you guys some of this off-road articulation here so he's gonna come up do a little three-point turn here and kind of demonstrate we've actually got a fairly steep uh little entrance right here to kind of go off road he's going to show what that looks like on the cx50 when he takes his time right but we're going to see it he's about to go up here but just looking at the vehicle in motion it looks absolutely fantastic so he's backing up right there and head on we can see that black grill and the overall how wide the stance is this thing looks like a, a great vehicle so we're gonna have him come up here. I'm gonna take a look at that. We're gonna see, easy peasy. Wow. And we're gonna see how it handles some of these bumps over here. So this is a, a fairly rocky road, but we're gonna see how it's gonna go over some of these potholes that we see right here. And the suspension is having no problem with that at all. And we're just gonna see this thing from multiple angles here because this is a smooth looking vehicle when it's in motion. Wow. and the CX-50 looking absolutely majestic. Now, you guys are gonna have to just bear with me because we don't have any off-road trails here where I'm at, so I'm taking the best that I got we're here in our nursery with our trees and things like that, but that's more than enough to gauge this off-road worthiness um, because this is just gonna be a light off-roader anyway. Uh, so just talking about overall handling, of course, Moz is already known for their excellent handling, but off-road, that is no different. Okay, so this is gonna take it very, very easily. As we can see, G Vector and Control Plus, another one of those things that Mazda puts a lot of focus and emphasis into. So obviously that's a little bit of engine braking and torque vectoring to that inside brake to go ahead and give it the best handling possible, right? And as we see, as we come out of this corner here, even if we put our foot on it, we're not gonna spin it all, just gonna glide right through. As we come up to some on-road portion here, one thing you're gonna note is just the on-road handling 
is just as nice as that off-road handling. Let's go ahead and flick this into our normal mode here. Um, you know, the CX-50 is, once again, built on that Mazda 3 platform, so the steering does feel properly lightweight, even though this is a very large vehicle um, in comparison to those two you're not really gonna feel the weight of this too much when you're turning. And then of course, handling is super nice. It was responsive as you guys can see anywhere I move it, it takes it right there. Now, of course, compared to a CX-5, even though this ride is pretty smooth, it's not gonna be the CX-5, right? Because CX-5 is gonna be our road warrior. It's gonna be the champ when it comes on road, right behind the CX-9 in terms of ride quality. But this thing is still super smooth. So it definitely has a good duality to it uh, when you're on the road. This is definitely gonna be more than sufficient, uh, especially when compared to competitors, because of course we know this is supposed to go against things like the Subaru Outback Wilderness or the Toyota RAV4 Adventure and vehicles to that nature. And in my opinion, in so far of having it just for a few days, uh, Mazda has really nailed it on this one. Definitely gonna be a vehicle that's gonna take a lot of attention from that other mother, other sorry, other manufacturers, and put a new emphasis on Mazda, ushering in their new premium era. I like where they're going with this, and they have a bright future if more vehicles are going to be like this. So here we are at a complete stop. Gonna go ahead and do that mandatory zero to sixty test. See how quick this family hauler is. Of course, got MI Drive. So we're gonna go the opposite way this time flick it into sports mode and we're gonna go ahead and put our foot down in three two one and we are off the line and this thing is moving right so very quickly 55 and then 60 just like that now compared to the cx5 to be honest i think they're about neck and neck but this is still an impressively quick vehicle all right, guys, so that was the 2023 CX-50 Mazda's all-new crossover. Going to be letting us do some nice off-roading, on-roading, all of the above, whatever you need it to be. Now, let me know, what are your impressions of this vehicle? I think it's definitely a step in the right direction. Got a nice, bulky stance, low and wide, mean and aggressive. I think, for sure, Mazda coming up with these new vehicles, the 70 and the 90, the intro to luxury, they have a bright future ahead of them. If you guys have a chance, stop by your local Mazda dealer. If you guys are in Southern California, stop by Riverside Metro Auto Group, as obviously, of course, we have Mazda, but we also feature Honda, Volkswagen, Hyundai, and a Nissan as well. But if you guys enjoy this vehicle, leave a like, maybe subscribe, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.